right, thank you everyone for your patience. We are now joined by Ford Chris Wondolowski, tonight's man of the match. Let's go ahead and take the first question from Alex Morgan. Hi, Chris. Congratulations on the victory and on uh, both goals, obviously. Uh, how, how good did it feel after your red card uh, in the last match uh, to come back on and return with two goals and a victory? Oh, it was, uh, I mean, monumental for me. I, uh, to be honest, I, even after the Houston game, uh, in the first two weeks, I probably had the, my worst two plays in my career back to back. And uh, I can't be thankful enough for the teammates uh, that I have that picked me up and also the coaching staff. And uh, I say Matias, and it's a lot of it is Matias, but uh, it's his coaching staff as well with uh, Omar and Turco, I mean, uh, and uh, Guido as well. And so it's, uh, those guys really help propel me, and so that's why I, you know, wanted to repay them. Uh, they, they've been the, the wind behind my my back, and I needed them these last couple of weeks. Uh, but I proud proud of this group and proud to be a part of it, and so very thankful for them. Thank you, Wando. Next question from Carlos Ramirez. Hey, Chris, how are you? Doing well. How are you, Chris? Uh, again, man, we need those hats, brother. We need him. <laughs> I can't find him anywhere. Help me out. What's up with that? <laughs> Rather, yeah, there's still uh, there's some limited. We got Wando Soccer, but uh, it's uh, yeah, we uh, I'll have to hook you guys up uh, when we're back home. And uh, uh, on, on a more serious uh, on a more serious note, Chris, uh, is this team getting enough attention in the Bay Area? Because it's it's hard to find people, media uh, paying enough attention to a team that's leading the Western Conference playing like it is, with young talent, with veteran talent, that's beating teams home and away in definite fashion. Does this team deserve more attention? I, I think that we will be able to establish more attention as we continue to grow. Uh, being a Bay Area diehard fan of everything, I you know I think that you you need to show that you have the good product. It's uh, it's it's great watching the Warriors as they push for the playoffs and uh, push for the A seed, and uh, it's exciting watching them. The Giants, uh, you know, I think I believe are leading the West, and you know the A's are doing their thing. And so, uh, you know, the Bay Area, you, you need to win. You, you should be winning. It's a it's a great area. It's a great market. Uh, you know, and I think that we need to continue to show what we have and what we can do. I think that we have a very exciting product. And when more eyes get to see us and watch us and um, see see the product on the field and be able to see the results as well, I think that will really be the catalyst to our attention and to, uh, you know, to our success as well. Thank you, Wando. Next question from John Rojas. Thank you, Jake. Um, hey, Chris. Um, Matias keeps saying this year that uh, that you guys, with your willingness to give it all and your performances, are giving him and his family the happiness that that he needs right now after losing his father. Are you guys aware that right now for him, you guys are more than a team and football is more than a game? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I it's very cliche to say, but. Uh, we believe down to our core that we, we are family and, uh, you know, it doesn't need, uh, you know, I believe that it's family over biology. Sometimes, you know, you don't need blood to, uh, to be a family and, uh, we have it. And so just like how that whole staff and our team picked me up, uh, we, we try to pick Matias up as well. We, we know that you always can't bring your hundred percent each day. And that's why a family, uh, will always ha have your, have each other's backs. And, uh, you know, we're, we're brothers. We're always battle on the field, fight. Uh, but when we get to the locker room, we're going to hug each other. We're going to have each other's back. And we're going to fight uh, tooth and nail for, for every inch. And, uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll make sure that our teammate has each other's back and I have his. And, uh, you know, that goes for Matias and his whole staff as well. Uh, you know, it, the love is there. And we'll do anything we can to help fill that void. We know it's it's hard times for him you know it's uh I, I can't imagine and i i hope i 
don't have to for a long time, but it's uh, it's devastating. And so our our hearts with him, our loves with him, but he makes us stronger, and I think we make him stronger as well. Thank you, Wando. We're going to take two more questions, starting with Alicia Rodriguez. Thank you very much, uh, Chris. I have a little bit of a kind of a left field question, but in a game like this, when you're coming off the bench, um, the team is chasing the game, and you probably know that you are only going to get one or two looks, um, you know, in limited minutes. Like, how are you able to kind of keep your nerve and keep your patience while you know you're waiting for service from your teammates or you're waiting for that rebound to to pop up so you can you can hit that shot like how how does that work as you're you know in, in your mindset as you're as you're waiting for that chance to come if, if it's going to come at all you have to stay optimistic and that's something as a luckily as a striker I can always be optimistic I, I can always think that that chance is coming to me and uh, go finish it and go make that run and so I think that you know I also had the opportunity to study the game. I think Kate absolutely grinded and wore down those two center backs. But playing in altitude, I noticed throughout the game that the ball would sail. It looked like it would be coming to someone's chest and it would end up at their neck or head. And so it it sailed those two extra two yards. And to be honest, when it left Fierro's on the second goal, when it left Fierro's foot, I had the patience and the wherewithal to, to stay there because I – I, I believe that was Justin Glad. He he took a step forward, and I I would have done the same as well. Uh, you know, I think that C level that ball gets there, and he clears it. But I kind of stayed the course, and uh, you know, was able to uh, pick the point and and finish it. And great ball by Fierro. Oh my gosh, what a ball! By the way, random. Thank you, Wando. Uh, last question from Carlos Justis. Wando, good evening, and and. Congratulations for the two goals. Uh, walk me through the celebrations because we saw it with Osvaldo in the first on the first week, and and now you you decide and go both times with, with Matias. Is that something that you guys have talked about within the team? Is it planned? It's just a spur of the moment because it's 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 really emotional. And it's a really nice thing to see. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, definitely uh, not premeditated. Uh, it's just a pure emotion um, for me myself. I wanted, uh, you know, I mean, Matias is kind of the face of it. And so, you know, he, you're the head of it, I should say. And I, I want to thank him just for giving the confidence. And that's what I just kept telling him. I was just, thank you. Thank you for believing, still believing in me, still giving me this chance and this opportunity. And, um, you know, my, my other hug was for Omar. Uh, he, he he's, he's unbelievable. He works with, with the forwards and the offensive guys and uh, he does so much work and, Matias gets a lot of the credit, and as he should, he should. But it's uh, I don't know. He has a great staff. You know, the staff I think sometimes gets overlooked a little bit, but um, it's it's there, there's some special as well. And so, uh, for me, that that was, you know, again, it wasn't a meditate premeditated thing. It was just uh, emotional, and I, I I wanted to thank him. I want to thank him for for the opportunity and uh, the continued opportunity because. Uh, you know, wouldn't be, be here still without him. All right. Thank you very much, Wando. Congrats on the goals and the victory. Awesome. Thanks, guys.